EB Films. I got nothing. Deal with it. So, do we, like, not believe in music for this one? Thanks, Luther. 1947? Wow, that was three years before fun was invented. This man is an author. Maybe in his own he mind. He writes stories. Mainly pulp fiction. He just finished writing a story. It's a smut book. He thinks many people will like to read it. He's totally wrong. So, he must have the story made into a book. You know, Let's that thing people don't read anymore? Made. Really? First, this is what we're going to do today? The printing shop. This workman is a typesetter. He starts the job of preparing the story so it can be printed. Because he has nothing better he to do with his time than this do machine, this. Letter by letter. Oh dear God. Every time the typesetter touches a key, a magic happens. Slides into this box. Ooh. Many molds together make a My line. God, this is too intense. Every time the lever goes up, the saints the cry. Pours over the letter molds inside the machine. Oh, that's hot. Like, when how does it even sort off, that shit out? It hardens and makes a line of words. Ooh, you can't say harden in 1947. Like this Behold, the most expensive page. line in American history. Oh, dude, clean your fingernails. As the typesetter works on new lines, more people become the illiterate. Takes the finished lines Good lord, the oil table. in his hair. It's like the Exxon Valdez. Here he arranges the lines for each page. Maybe he needs to arrange his ass, because that thing is flat. Look at that butt. Yep, yep. Life is boring as all get out. Picture. Yeah, the we determined that's a picture. The, space of many lines. the composer then goes to the next page. It's not like he's making music, he's making a book! Of wood, the composer marks the end of each page. When many pages like this are ready, you might have something that resembles takes a book. Them to another part of the printing shop. Then this workman takes the Teddy lines Roosevelt? of many pages and fits them into a metal frame. No, it's Justin Silverman from Cinemassacre. Or at least his grandpa. Ugh, oh, work, work, work. Where's the booze? And short pieces of metal keep the pages apart and fill out yeah, the edges. Yeah, pap here is pretty metal if you ask me. This key locks the lines and pictures tightly in the frame. Gotta keep that shit on lock, son. He locks them on all sides. Then he evens all the lines. God, I'd hate so to see him on a bad day with that. People would suffer or at least couldn't read anything. Then all is locked still tighter. Good gravy! So this isn't Fort Knox, it's a goddamn apart. book! But the words and lines of type are of soft metal. To match the soft heads they of the workers. Out in, printing. in this shop, they are made into copper. Copper is hard. Really? I hadn't noticed. Let's watch how this is done. I this think that's why I'm watching this, right? Pages with a plate of wax. Gotta put, put that shit on wax, son! Down goes the press. And up and goes my blood pressure. Plate, with all the pictures and letters... Pressed into the soft wax. But I thought you said you were making this out of copper. I'm so confused. I'll call it the Ten Commandments. I'm brilliant. Next, another worker dips the wax plate into Don't call me a dip. Has copper in it. The copper goes into Radar. The places where the letters have pressed into the wax. Well, at least these guys it look like they're eating solid well. Plate. It has the same letters and same pictures as before. But it is much stronger. It's been eating its spinach. Many books can be printed from copper plates. Oh, God, he's been here since he was 12. Now the plates are cut apart. He gives a new definition this to the term paper cut. Easily cuts through the hard copper. Yeah. Ow, my thumb! Each of these small plates has the words and pictures for just one page of the book. But what happens if you lose something, man? Next, this gentleman's been working here since the invention the of papyrus. 
here, this workman makes the plates ready for printing. Oh, Jesus place. Christ! That is well, that's better than the, the millstone man. we used to use. The space where you see him now is called the press bed. I wonder how many people have gotten their faces printed. 64 pages fit on one bed. Oh, the miracles of bookmaking. This has been missing from my life. The ready man fits every plate tightly to the bed, in the right order. Or so we think. We haven't verified. There are two beds on this press. Hey, twice the loving. Side of the paper. Jesus Christ, he almost looks like Friar Tuck on a diet. Both press beds of this printing press. Remember, must be Earl, with Friday night is when we wear the hosiery. Begin. Got it, Bill. Now, one push of a button, and the big press starts. And all life as we know it the paper ceases to be. Around the drums. Rollers, spread Keep the rolling, 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 rolling. What? First, one side of the paper is pressed to one set of plates. Then the other side of the you paper. You getting all this? Set. It's pretty complicated. Sheet after sheet. <laughs> you said Printed sheet. Pages begin to pile up at one end of the press. Yeah, this is paper, all right. Last I checked. This workman now examines the sheets to see if they are nicely and clearly printed. Pity he's legally blind. Yeah, yeah, there you go, God. Only three days till retirement. Now let's see what happens to these sheets after they're printed. I must warn you, it's pretty graphic. Here in the bookbinding plant... Jesus, they, they roll up like the rugs! Machine. Each large printed sheet will be folded until it reaches the size of a single page. So, can you do it more than seven times? Or is that mechanically the impossible? The machine goes on, folding and folding, until all the printed sheets have been folded. You don't say. You know what this short needs? Some Avenged Sevenfold. This man checks the folders to make sure... That's that not a man, that's paper! In the right order. Yeah, it looks like numbers and, yep, five comes after three. Then all the folders are taken to another part of the bindery. Oh, this God, I just gotta load everything room. around here. These girls stack the folders in piles. We would call them in women, but that's too presumptuous. Bin. Had no they idea floral print dresses would require uniforms for bookmaking. This machine gathers the folders like trying to gag in the right itself. order from the first page to the last page of the book. As we see here, multiple copies of Fifty one Shades of Grey are being the made. Gathers all the folders for one book. Not that anyone's going to read it. This long machine, the folders are coming out. Oh, I the bet they are. The Hot and spicy, Texas style. Don't you Here love just sorting out paper all day? To other machines. Here comes the former high school linebacker, Here, Lori. The sews them together. Again, oh God, that's monotonous as separately. shit. Surprise! One of those times she doesn't grab a the gun. The machine sews the folders together with strong thread. The sewing will keep the pages from coming apart. At least for a week. That's it. After Give the, the book a back sold, massage. They go on to the trimming shop. Oh yeah, to get some trim. This oh, what did he do to end up the here? Just to just the right size with three sharp knives. First with one knife yeah. on the side of the book. It's like you're then mowing. With two knives for the two short sides. Wow, this is too advanced for my simple skull. <laughs> All right, I get it. It's cutting the shit. But the books are not yet finished. I couldn't they tell. Need covers. Strong book covers are made from paperboard. First, as opposed to the titanium that we were using last month. Size. Oh! Lurch no like hardbacks. Prefer Next, softback cloth books. From this roll is glued over the paperboard. This makes covers that are strong and good-looking. And hefty, hefty, hefty. 
Just fling shit everywhere. I mean, the, Jesus, last, this place is... The name of the book is stamped on the cover in shining gold This letters. one's called The Communist Manifesto. Now, the oh, yeah. Ready for the page I the love this part of the job. Getting it out of my face. One push, and the book has a cover. Ooh, on. with one push. Another push, and the cover is glued to Hot it. damn, the miracle of modern technology. Here they go. <laughs> Here they go. All finished and ready for shipping to <laughs> all parts of the world. The story has been made into a book. For readers everywhere. But no one will look at it anyway, because we've all gone blind, and the internet has created a better life for us. Thank you and good night.